Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's topic is solved problems of full converter. In this session, we will discuss how to solve the numericals related to full converter with R load, full converter with single phase full converter with RL load and a three phase converter. First numerical. Dekho, yeh numericals bohut simple hai. I mean, these numericals are formula based. So, I have written a list of formulae which are required for solving the numericals as far as single phase full converter with R load is concerned. First numerical, a single phase full controlled converter with resistive load value of R is 10 ohm and input voltage is 230 volt. <coughs> Calculate for alpha is equals to 60 degree. First, average load voltage. Second, RMS load voltage. Third, average and RMS load currents. Fourth, form factor and ripple factor. So, in this numerical, all the variety uh, is uh, considered. Now, first part. Recall the basic things. First, we need to calculate maximum voltage because this given voltage 230 volt is RMS voltage. So, we have a ready-made formula. Vm is root 2 times RMS. So, let us first do the calculation of Vm. So, Vm is equals to root 2 times. I am making use of formula number 1. Vrms. Vrms is 230 volt. So, root 2 into 230 volt. So, value of Vm is 325.269 volt. This is the value of maximum voltage. Next calculation, I mean first part of this numerical, average load voltage. Now, we have the formula to calculate average load voltage for resistive load. It is Vm upon pi in the bracket 1 plus cos alpha. Given value of alpha is 60 degree. So, V0 average is equals to Vm upon pi. Value of Vm is 325.269 upon pi in the bracket 1 plus cos alpha. Alpha is 60 degree. So, 1 plus cos 60 degree. If you solve this on the calculator, then this answer is 155.3 volt. Second calculation, we have to calculate RMS load voltage. Again, we have this formula number 3 which is Vm upon root 2 pi square root of pi minus alpha plus 1 half sin 2 alpha. So, it is Vm upon root 2 pi. Vm is 325.269 upon square root of 2 pi. Then again square root pi minus alpha. So, pi minus. Now, very very important thing. We already discussed while solving the numericals related to half wave control rectifier. Whenever the term is pi minus alpha, then value of alpha must be put in terms of pi. Given value of alpha is 60 degree. 60 degree is 60 degree is pi by 3 radians. Yeah, both simple. Pi means 180 degree. So, we want 60 degree. So, it is 180 degree upon 3. So, it is pi minus pi by 3 plus 1 half sin 2 alpha sin अब देखो यहाँ पे जो alpha है उसका angle degree में ही चाहिए because you are operating the calculator in degree mode सिर्फ pi minus alpha जहाँ पे है वहाँ पे alpha का value ready इनमें convert करना है so it is sin 2 alpha that is sin 120 degree because alpha is 60 degree and 2 alpha is 60 into 2 that is 120 degree so this answer of VRMS is uh, 206. So, VRMS is equals to 206.295 volt. This is the value of VRMS. Now, next calculation. It is asked to calculate average and RMS load current. Make the thing simple. Ye baki ke formula bilkul uh, mag up karne ki jorot nahi. Aise soch na hai. Current is basically voltage upon resistance. We have already done the calculation of V0 average then V0 RMS. Now suppose I want I0 average. So it is simply V0 average upon R. R is the value of resistance which is given in the question. R is equals to 10 ohm. V0 average we have 
155 upon 3 divided by 10 so it is 15.53 ampere because this is the value of current same way I want I0 RMS again make use of this formula voltage upon resistance that is V0 RMS upon resistance V0 RMS we have done this calculation so 206.295 divided by 10 so that becomes 20.6295 amperes very simple V RMS upon 10 so 206.295 upon 10 so we will get 20.6295 amperes this is the calculation of third part average and RMS load current fourth part form factor and ripple factor we have a ready-made formula form factor is V0 RMS upon V0 average so form factor is equals to V0 RMS that is this value 206.295 upon V0 average that is 155.3 so value of form factor is 1.328 next calculation ripple factor which is square root of form factor square that is ff square minus 1 so it is square root of form factor just now we have done this calculation 1.328 square minus 1 so value of ripple factor is 0.87 in this question power factor is not asked if power factor is asked do remember the simple formula power factor is cos alpha that is cos of 60 that will be the answer of power factor next problem a single phase full fully controlled bridge converter supplies an inductive load assume i0 is constant that is output current is constant determine the following if input voltage is 230 volt alpha is pi by 6 do remember this value of alpha is in radians so pi by 6 is same as 30 degree yaad kaise rakhna hai pi means 180 so 180 upon 6 30 degree first calculation average output voltage second fundamental power factor and third uh, supply power factor so these are the formulae first we will calculate uh, value of vm so like the last sum vm is root 2 vrms values are same like previous sum because vrms is 230 volt so root 2 into uh, 230 so this gives the same answer like that of previous uh, numerical so 325.269 volt this is the answer of vm now we have to calculate average uh, output voltage so formula is 2 vm upon pi cos alpha do remember this is the formula for full wave bridge converter with inductive load so it is 2 vm upon pi so i will write it like this v0 average is equals to 2 vm upon pi that is 2 into 325.269 upon pi cos of alpha yahan pe common mistake karte hai students ye jo value hai cos of alpha wo given value is in radian you need to put it in degree mode sirf pi minus alpha jaha term hai wahi pe radian ka value put karna hai so i will be putting value cos 30 degree so this answer of average voltage is 179.33 volts next is fundamental power factor this is answer of first part second part fundamental power factor we have the formula cos of minus alpha so it is cos minus alpha that is cos of minus 30 degree so this answer is 0 0.866 0 0.866 and since minus sign is there i will say this is lagging power factor next is third part calculation of supply power factor pf means power factor supply power factor is 2 root 2 upon pi cos of alpha so this becomes 2 root 2 upon pi cos of 30 degree so this answer is 0.78 again due to minus sign it is lagging so this is the calculation for bridge converter now let us solve the numerical related to three phase full converter given problem is three phase full converter operates from three phase star connected 208 volt 60 hertz 
F frequency is 60 Hertz. This voltage is the phase voltage that is VPH. Supply with uh, R load of 10 ohm, it is required to obtain 50% of maximum possible output voltage. Determine first delay angle that is alpha, second part RMS and average current. Now, first we will do the calculation of Vm line voltage. So Vm is maximum line voltage. Formula is root 3 into root 2 into Vm pH. This is the value of 208. This is the value of Vm phase voltage that is Vm pH. So we will do this calculation. So Vm line voltage is root 3 into root 2 times Vm phase that is 208. So this answer is 509.49 volt. This is the calculation of Vm line. Now let us calculate VLDC maximum. Actually, these two formula same. Hai. Basic formula VLDC ka 3 Vm of line upon pi cos alpha, where we have to calculate the delay angle alpha. So first we will calculate the value of maximum. Deekho, maximum condition ke liye cos alpha should be equal to 1 because maximum value of cosine term is 1. So ye sirf value 1 karke ye formula leka hai. So we will calculate VLDC max. So it is VLDC maximum value formula is 3 Vm upon a uh, 3 Vm line upon pi. So it is 3 into 509.49 upon pi. This will give us the value of VLDC maximum that is 486.52 hold. Why we did this calculation? Because it is asking the question it is required to obtain 50% of maximum possible output voltage. So first I have calculated maximum value of output voltage that is uh, 486.52. So 50% of this value that means this value will be divided by 2. So it is 243.26 volt. So 50% of this value that is 50% of VLDC maximum value. Now let us do the calculation of delay angle alpha. So I am making use of formula number 3. According to this formula, the formula VLDC ke liye, VLDC ka ab ye value lena hai. So it is 243.26 is equals to 3 into VM line, we of value of VM line 509.49 upon pi into cos alpha. So if you solve this, you will get value of cos alpha. So alpha will be cos inverse of that value. Matlab, I will make it more simple. Pehle mein aisa likhta hon. Cos alpha is equals to 243.26 into pi upon 3 into 509.49. You will get value of cos alpha. Alpha will be cos inverse of this value. Therefore, alpha is equals to 60 degree. This is the answer of first part. That is the answer of delay angle. Now, RMS and average current we need to calculate. First, we will calculate value of ILDC that is VLDC upon RL. So, we have value of this VLDC. We have to consider 50% value. So, simply I will write ILDC is equals to. Deekho, VLDC ka ye value is 243.26 uh, divided by RL. RL is load resistance which is 10 divided by 10. So, it is 24. 326 ampere. This is the value of ILDC. Now, let us calculate ILRMS. Formula is VLRMS upon R, but we need to calculate the value of VLRMS. So, first calculate VLRMS, which is VM line square root of 1 half plus 3 root 3 upon 4 pi cos of 2 alpha. So, value of VM line, I mean VM RMS, sorry. Value of VL RMS is equals to VM line. This value is 509.49 square root of 1 half plus 3 root 3 upon 4 pi cos of cos of 2 alpha. Alpha is 60 degree. So cos of 120 degree. So 
आंसर ऑफ दिस पार्क इज टू सेवेंटी फाइव पॉइंट नाइन दिस इज द आंसर ऑफ वी एल आर एम एस नो आई एल आर एम एस इज वेरी सिंपल इज इक्वल्स टू वी एल आर एम एस अपॉन वैल्यू ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस दैट इज अपॉन टेन सो इट इज ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट फिफ्टी नाइन एम पी आर सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आई एल आर एम एस Uh, we already calculated ILDC. This is the average voltage, and this is the value of uh, IL RMS. So this is the way how to solve the numericals as far as uh, this three phase full converters are concerned. So that's it for today's session. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.